Hello everyone, this is your Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to resolve a fraction into partial fraction. So we are given a fraction x cube by x minus 1 into x plus 2. So the degree of x cube is 3. Or degree of p of x we can say is 3. And the degree of Q of x equals to x minus 1 into x plus 2. If you consider x minus 1 into x, mi x plus 2, we'll get x square plus 2x minus x minus 2, which is equals to x square plus x minus 2. So, this is our Q of X. So, the degree of Q of X is 2. So, here degree of P of X is greater than degree of Q of X. Okay. Since degree of P of X is greater than degree of Q of X, from this we can say that the given fraction is an Improper fraction. So the given fraction is an improper fraction. Okay. So we have to reduce it to a proper fraction. For that, we'll consider the fraction x cubed by x squared plus x minus 2. So we are going to divide it. We are going to divide x cube by x square. x cube by the numerator by the denominator. Okay. Fine. So x square plus x minus 2 into x is equals to x cube plus x square minus 2x. x square plus x minus 2 into x is x cube plus x square minus 2x. Now change the sign. x cube plus x cube minus x cube gets cancelled. Finally, we get minus x square plus 2x. Okay. Since you are having minus 2x in the first term so you can multiply the divisor with minus 1 so that you'll get minus x square minus x plus 2 okay so x square plus x minus 2 into Minus 1 is minus x square minus x plus 2. Now change the signs. Plus x square minus x square gets cancelled. Minus x square plus x square gets cancelled otherwise. 2x plus x is 3x minus 2. So this is a reminder. Say R of X, quotient, Q of X, divider, say Q of X, capital Q of X, divisor or G of X. Okay, I'll consider it as capital Q of X. Okay, so now We can write the given fraction as equals to this equals to quotient plus reminder by divisor. So we are having quotient x minus 1 
plus remainder 3x minus 2 by divisor x square plus x minus 2. Okay. So here the fraction x cube by x minus 1 into x plus 2 can be written as x minus 1 plus 3x minus 2 by x square plus x minus 2. Okay. If you consider this term to take it as p of x by q of x. The degree of p of x is 1 and degree of q of x is 2. It is clear that degree of degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x. Okay. If the degree of P of X is less than degree of Q of X, we can say that the fraction is a proper fraction. Okay. So, we have reduced an improper fraction to a proper fraction. Okay. So now consider it as equation number 1. Now let 3x minus 2 by x square plus x minus 2 equals to better instead of writing x square plus x minus 2 you can write x minus 1 into x plus 2 which is equals to a by x minus 1 plus b by x plus 2. Since you are having x minus 1 which is linear, so for this you have written a by x minus 1 and x plus 2 is also a linear. So for this we have written b by x plus 2 simply we have written this fraction, proper fraction into some of or partial fractions we can say. Okay. Now consider it as equation number 2. Okay. You can write x square plus x minus 2 or x minus 1 into x plus 2. Okay. x minus 1 into x plus 2 is x square plus x minus 2. You can write any of these two. This is our equation number 1. And 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x plus 2 equals to a by x minus 1 plus b by x plus 2 is our equation number 2. That is it. Fine. Now coming to the problem. So we are having 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x plus 2 equals to a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2. So, you can write it as 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x plus 2 equals 2. Now, take the LCM of these two. LCM of x minus 1 and x plus 2. x minus 1, 1 sir, x minus 1.
okay so the lcm of x minus 1 and x plus 2 is equals to x minus 1 into x plus 2 okay in the first fraction you are having a in the numerator and x minus 1 in the denominator since we are having x minus 1 into x minus 2 already you have x minus 1 in the denominator of this first fraction so you have to include x plus 2 so that x plus 2 in the numerator and x plus 2 in the denominator gets cancelled and finally you will get a by x minus 1 plus from the second fraction you are having x plus 2 in the denominator so leave this x plus 2 and write this x minus 1 okay you will get a into x plus 2 plus b into x minus 1 by x minus 1 into x plus 2. So, you can cancel x minus 1, x minus 1, x plus 2, x plus 2. Finally, you will get 3x minus 2 equals to a into x plus 2 plus b into x minus 1. You can consider it as equation number 3. So, I am getting all the equations. The right side fine. Now consider a let x plus two equals to zero, then x equals to minus two. Now put x equals to minus two in three, that is equation number three. Then 3 becomes 3 into, replace x by minus 2, minus 2 plus a into minus 2 plus 2 plus b into minus 2 minus 1. 3 into minus 2 is minus 6, minus 6 minus 2 equals to a into minus 2 plus 2 becomes 0. So, you will get a into 0 plus b into minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. So, you will get minus 6 minus 2 is minus 8 equals to 0 minus 3 into b is minus 3b. Okay. So, we are having minus 8 equals to minus 3b. Minus minus gets cancelled. From this you will get 3b equals to 8. You get b equals to 8 by 3. We are having the value of b. Therefore, b equals to 8 by 3. Now, Put or let x minus 1 equals to 0. From this you will get x equals to 1. Now put x equals to 1 in equation 3. Simply replace x equals to 1. Okay. So, equation 3 becomes 3 into 1 minus 2 equals to a into, I am just replacing x by 1. We get 3 minus 2 equals to a into 1 plus 2 is 3 plus b into 1 minus 1 is 0, we get b into 0. So, this becomes 3 minus 2 is 1 equals to 3a plus 0. So, from this we will get 3a equals to 1, a equals to 1 by 3. So, therefore, a equals to 1 by 3. So, we are having the values of unknowns.
therefore a equals to 1 by 3 comma b equals to 8 by 3. So now we can substitute the values of a and b in equation number 2. Okay. Now substitute a b values in 2. We get 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x plus 2 equals to you are having a equals to 1 by 3, right? So replace a by 1 by 3 by x minus 1 plus b. You are having b equals to 8 by 3 by x plus 2. So this implies 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x plus 2 equals to 1 by 3 into x minus 1 plus h by 3 into x plus 2. Okay. See we are having 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x plus 2 is equals to 1 by 3 into x minus 1 plus 8 by 3 into x plus 2. So we can replace 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x plus 2 by this. Okay. One becomes x cube by x minus one into x plus two equals to x minus one plus one becomes so this is our one right x cube by x minus one into x plus two equals to x minus one plus since we are having 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x plus 2 equals to 1 by 3 into x minus 1 plus 8 by 3 into x plus 2. So in the place of 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x plus 2, we are going to write this. We will get x minus 1 plus 1 by 3 into x minus 1 plus 8 by 3 into x plus 2. Simply, we are writing this proper fraction or we are replacing the proper fraction by partial fractions. Okay. So, this implies x cubed by x minus 1 into x plus 2 equals to x minus 1 plus 1 by 3 into x minus 1 plus 8 by 3 into x plus 2. Okay. So therefore, x cubed by x minus 1 into x plus 2 equals to x minus 1 plus 1 by 3 into x minus 1 plus 8 by 3 into x plus 2. So this completes the problem. Okay. So we have resolved the improper fraction into partial fractions. Okay. Fine. You are having x minus 1 plus partial fractions. So, we have seen a problem in this video from partial fractions. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.